we're looking forward to the Valdez and Shakur fight. Oh yeah, Uh, Uh, April, right? April. Somebody going to sleep. (laughs) Somebody's going to bed. I don't know who, but somebody's going to sleep. It's not going to distance. I feel like personally. Because they, they both got something to prove in this fight. And I think they both yeah. have been wanting this fight for a long time. Especially Shakur. He's he's been calling for this fight. And that's why I like Shakur. He actually, he, he's going after the legacy. He's a dog. He's calling yeah, these yeah. dudes. He's like, you know, he, he's there at their front door. He wants to fight. I don't see Shakur losing, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, just because he reminds me of Floyd. Um, I, you know, I publicly came out before on uh, uh, ES News and said it. That he is like the next Floyd, right? And then what I mean by that, he just the guy fights just super cerebral, super, super. He's intellectual in there. He and he kind of knows how to change his temperaments. Sometimes he's gonna box you. Sometimes he's gonna bully you. Sometimes he's gonna be real mean, like a dog. Sometimes he kind of on his feet, um, you know. But that being said, of course, is Oscar, and you know the one factor, the one variable in all of it is Eddie Reynoso. Um, being in the gym with Canelo and and. Uh, and Eddie, let me tell you that Eddie is is absolutely, you know, in love with boxing. And there, there's been things, you know, obviously he's been training of the year a couple of times now. Obviously, I look up to him because he's Eddie Reynoso. He's been training of the year. He's he's accomplishing so much. But um, when you when you watch him in the ring, he's got such a passion for it that you know that they're going to come up with a strategy. And I'm not saying that that's going to, um, you know, beat Shakur. But if anybody could get the upset. It's going to be the dynamic between Eddie yeah. and, and and Valdez. We so. weren't expecting the Burchell outcome, right? That was yeah, that was pretty a, insane. Hey, but you see what Oscar had to do. He yeah. had to revert back to that old Oscar, yeah, and bring that that dog out of him. And that's what I feel like he's going to have to do with Shakur as well. Yeah. Okay. Talking about the Canelo team, is, is anybody beating uh, Canelo? Do you guys think anybody out there right I, now? I don't feel like there is right now. So, no. um, I mean, you guys have seen him work firsthand. Yeah, so I don't see no one beating him right now. And he's just, you know, he's technically sound, and he 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 knows how to finish. He he's mastered finishing people, and it's like it's yeah. crazy. He's a he's a he's like, and I don't think people might not understand this, but like Too he's smart. yeah, he's like a bit of a hustler, you know. Like he'll he plays, he'll make you think that you're being successful. Just so you get too close to him, so he can get he, you. He fucks you up mentally. He, 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 he you know, he puts you in positions you do not want to be, and you don't even know what's going on. Is the crazy part? He, like, you'll think you're moving over here because you you want to. No, nah, like, I'm he, getting away. He, he wants pushed you, to go you over there. Like he's a very he, he's smart. He's super smart. Even with the Saunders fight, obviously we were in the you know in in the camp for Saunders with Canelo. Um, to see what happened with Saunders and to see how they played out and how they evolved the rings is something that we witnessed you know, three times a week for six weeks. Um, we saw the plan. We also saw the plan uh, get implemented in the way they were shadow boxing, um, the way that they were having to move around the ring. And so when I see guys go on TV and they say, oh, Canelo was doing this or Canelo was doing that, yeah. I'm like, no, he actually was doing this shit on purpose and to thing, draw you in on the angle to attack another you. Another thing, so. too, though, that he told me the game plan was Saunders. He was like, make him miss and make him pay. And yeah. he literally stuck to that. He made him miss and he kept making them pay, and I was like, "This motherfucker stick to the game plan." He don't. There's another thing too that I think is important, is that Eddie called out the the shot that he hit uh, Saunders with against the Lawrence. Plan. They actually did that shot on me. Yeah. They, were, they they were like practicing the shot, so it was like, not all the time it landed, but they slid it in here and there. But yeah, it was that they stuck to the game plan for sure. Yeah, it's the the only way that Canelo is going to lose is if he loses his drive. But being around him. Like, um, you know, and I, I'll be honest with you, too. I think that this is something that, that would be kind of, you know, be forthcoming about it. Tayden, too. Tayden was at, with, at Canelo's, too. Um, when we all went there and we got to see Saul work in person, right, like the one thing that we walked away with is that we weren't good enough. And so what do we mean by that? We didn't work hard enough. We didn't have enough discipline. We didn't have enough repetition. We didn't have us go showing up to the gym and not knowing what the fuck we're going to do for that day mm. and kind of, you know, freelancing it and us like not working on specific things. Being in there changed, you know, like literally I learned so much as being there with Eddie, watching Eddie, watching Zamir and even watching Randy, watching the whole Canelo team and the way that they work everybody. And and Monroe, I always say, is it Ron Monroe? Is it? Monroe. No, so, oh, Monroe. Yeah, yeah, Monroe. So I was a strength and conditioning guy. Just the whole thing that they got going on over there. And saying, hey, shit, like, if we ever expect to ever really create a, a great fighter, we all got to get our shit together 
and work fucking harder. And that that's that's literally his ethic is is inspiring. And after that, the boys. That's when we started doing all these rounds. That's when we we started mixing up run, and that's when we realized that we hadn't been good enough. So that's why I think that the boys are doing so good right now, is because when we were over there, you know, Lawrence wasn't just learning in the ring. I was learning. Tayden was learning. Learning. You know, 